This is a fun little video I call, Which Way Do You Want to Get Paid? Now you have two options. Option one, pay you $100,000. Option two, will pay you $97,000. Now it doesn't take a recovering CPA to know what is the best option. However, there's more to the story. You're only gonna get paid these amounts as long as you are healthy enough uh, to go to work. But what if you're not? What if you are injured or ill? What if you're in a serious car accident or you get diagnosed with cancer and you want to work but you physically can't? Well, option one, pay you a big fat zero. Option two would pay you $60,000. Now that 60000 is going to be tax free. So what that means, that's the equivalent if you're in the 25% tax bracket of making $80,000 paying taxes and then being left with 60. So which one would you choose? Let me give you a little, uh, little advice before you make the decision. If you've been on your way to create, to getting financially free and you have some passive income and some assets, that you're not solely relying on your paycheck, then I think option one is the way to go. Let's get as much income as we can. However, if you're not quite there yet, think about what would you do if you were injured or ill and unable to work? How would you pay your mortgage? How would you pay uh, for food? What about your kid's schooling? If the answer is, I don't know, then you should really consider option two. Now, you may be thinking, well, hey, I, you know what? When I signed my contract or started my work or business, I wasn't given two options. Now, however, you can, you can create your own option two. There's a special type of insurance that will replace your income. So if you're unable to work due to illness or injury, they will pay, uh, reimburse you your income. Now, I would tell you for me, I'm somewhere in the middle, uh, but I do have a ton of income protection insurance for two reasons. For one, m my family relies on my income. And if it were to stop, this family is gonna, is gonna suffer. In addition, I'm going to create, become a bigger burden on them because they're going to have to take care of me and I'm not making any money. And two, you know, I have some pretty serious goals and I have every intention of hitting them. The only thing that's going to stop me is, is, is if I'm physically unable to. So this gives me comfort having this protection, knowing that if something happens to me, my family is going to be protected and I, I may still be able to reach my goals. Let me, ask you, let me ask you another question. Do you have insurance on your assets? Do you have insurance on your home in case a, uh, of a fire? Do you have insurance in your car in case it's stolen? Or what about items inside your house? Do you have insurance in case, in case those get stolen? And if you have a business, do you have insurance on your business uh, assets in case those are stolen or are no longer working? I'm going to bet the answer is probably yes for all of these. Now, do you have insurance on the most valuable asset you have? Now, what is the most valuable asset that you have? Which one produces the most value to your family? It's not any of the things that I just covered. It's you. You are the largest asset of your family. And if you have insurance on these material things, don't you think it would make sense to have insurance on the most important thing? Now, if you already have income protection insurance, awesome. I would encourage you to make sure that you have enough. If you may have gotten it a long time ago, I have a feeling your expenses have probably creeped up. So you want to make sure you have enough coverage. 
And if you don't have any, I would encourage you to look at some of the materials that we have in the resources tab below. And then schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and let's talk about what this is and how we can design a plan to make sure that we protect your most important asset. Now go make it a fantastic day.